Hey everyone, this is Lucky70X, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. The last episode, we decided to say screw the Yoshis because they got murdered by Yub. And we decided to chase Kamek to find the uh, stolen Cobalt Star Shards and recover cookies because cookies are more important than Yoshis. Anyway, we're trying to fake Kamek out here. We're doing a little dance. We're doing a little time. We're going to get down tonight, and that's all cool. But you know what? Kamek's getting a little pissed off at our dancing maneuvers, so he's going to burn everything. Freaking Smokey the Bear would once again be disappointed, but then again, we've already established the aliens have probably already killed Smokey, so everything's all good to go. But anyway, Kamek goes and makes a bunch of fire, and now he's gonna laugh at our faces because apparently he thinks <laughs> zip zap zow, fire is just good enough to stop us. But you know what? Fire is not good enough to stop us. I don't know about you, Kamek, but we can shoot freaking fireballs out of our hands. Also, there's water right here. Uh, so yeah, this once again reduces the mechanic from Superstar Saga where you have to drink water, and this time Baby Mario is the one who drinks water. What's up Baby Mario getting all the powers Mario used to have? He gets freaking, uh, the water spinning abilities, he gets the hammers, like, what the heck? But anyway, uh, you fill up with water, you'll get a number of drops, then Luigi can hammer Baby Mario, nice big fat Baby Mario, to spit out water, which is actually, as Stuffle just said, kinda gross. That is kinda gross, you're spitting, you're, you're, you're spitting spit at things. And also use advices to spit on everything you see. Now, if only that applied for real life. Yes, yeah, so I'm just going to spit on everything you see. Now, you have to actually kind of get the angle just right, because if the, if you're not perfectly straight, Luigi won't be able to hit him. But yeah. Takes out the fire, and we're good to go. So, as you can see, it's probably going to be the mechanic we're using a lot to get rid of the fires and basically move on to the next area. And that's going to be just about the whole episode. But you know what? We're actually in a new area, so we'll finally get some new enemies. We'll also get some more smash eggs, because smash eggs are pretty cool. Uh... Let's go ahead and fight one of these things. These are actually the Pidget enemies from uh, Super Mario Bros. 2. They make a reappearance, finally. I don't think they've really ever made a reappearance besides that. Well, at least, not as an enemy, at least. But anyway, Luigi somehow gets hit in midair, which is unfortunate. Uh, these Pidgets, well, if they attack from the left, they'll go after Mario, which I failed to dodge there. And if they attack from the right like this, they'll go after Luigi, which I can't dodge here, so, well, damn it. Jeez, my freaking window is rattling like hell right now. Just, <laughs> I was like, what the hell is that noise? Anyway, um... So, as you can see, not too hard to dodge. The only thing you might uh, notice is... Jeez, that's actually a decent amount of damage, too. Uh, oh, by the way, one thing I actually haven't... Uh, didn't uh, say last time, I was wrong. You can actually do aerial attacks, like I mentioned in the video. I was wrong about this, so I'm going to just show up here. Press X and Y, and you will be able to use the Bro Flowers to attack aerial enemies, and that's always good. And you actually get a burn on one that guy, that, that guy, and that's always a good thing. Now, if the uh, Pidget hops as it's flying, you'll actually hop again uh, in mid-attack and try to throw your timing off, so do be aware of that. It actually tends to help my timing though, because you can actually, uh... Am I gonna shut the- Oh, I'm gonna shut these smash eggs off, uh... So what these smash eggs do, uh... And that actually helps your timing when they bounce, because if you jump right after they're done bouncing, you almost always will hit them, so... Keep that in mind. Now, smash eggs, you press A and B, you do some bicycle kicks. They've been really practicing for Mario Strikers, because they can freaking bicycle kick like hell, except I missed that one. And you can hit all enemies. It's actually a pretty good one. It hits aerial enemies without any sort of effort. Can't make them. I don't think I've ever seen them make it make them dizzy, but uh, apparently it can according to the description. And yeah, so just A and B. Uh, I'm pretty sure Baby Mario and Baby Luigi can't do anything in this one. I'm probably wrong on this somehow, and someone's gonna be like, "Yo, dude, you're wrong." But the nice thing about these smash eggs is if you complete a combo, sometimes you'll get an item. In that case, I actually did. You get a one-up mushroom. You can get one of mushrooms, you can get other items. I'll show whenever I get one of those uh, from a thing, just so you can, I guess, keep track of items if you're trying to do that. I don't know. I'll just show it off because I can. But yeah, Pidgets, not too hard. Uh, there is actually another variety of, uh, variety of uh, variant of Pidget. In fact, I think we'll see it right now, if I remember correctly. Uh, I think there's some more Smash Eggs here, which is, you get so many Smash Eggs, and they are very useful here, so why not? And they, actually, there is, right there. Uh, this variant of Pidgets, one that has the money bags, they will have slightly higher speed, and they'll have a higher coin payout. They'll also can do one other thing. Uh, but first, let's talk about these Garnach Garnachula things. Uh, always use your hammers on these first, because some of them can jump, but some of them... Uh, or some of them you can jump on, they don't have spikes, but some of them do. This is the, the spike variant variety, so... Uh, do not, I guess, uh, uh, jump on the spike variety, obviously. You'll take damage as, as usual, so... Always a bad call. Uh, yeah, so this Pidget's going to try to attack us, and no, no dice, no dice. Uh, these Pidgets, once you get used to time, they're not hard to dodge at all. And don't use hammer on flying enemies. That will not, never work. But anyway, what the bag Pidgets can also do is they can also run away from battle like cowards. You coward! Come back here! Unfortunately, it means I missed out on the experience and the coins, but, you know, whatever. It's not that big a deal. So yeah, some of those can run away, but if, uh... You can't get quite a coin payout if you uh, get lucky if you uh, can kill a bunch of those because I think it's like five coins as opposed to thirty if you have a bag. So the bag variety are better to get. Uh, 
Kind of interesting that they have different varieties of the same sort of enemy. I don't know. It's a nice little touch, I suppose. I don't even know why I threw the babies there. What the heck? No, no, get back on the bros. There we go. Let's move on before that other Pidget comes to attack us. Because no one likes a Pidget. I know you on their stupid magic carpets. Go back to Aladdin, magic carpet. Nobody... Well, okay. The carpet from Aladdin's actually pretty awesome. Aladdin in general is pretty awesome. But you know what? That has absolutely nothing to do with Yoshi's Island or Partners in Time, so let's not even talk about that. Anyway, so this section's gonna have a bunch of uh, areas. We have to use the water, basically, to put out the fire and actually hit blocks. Like, they're sort of like the block palaces of Super Mario World, I guess, because they'll cause blocks to solidify. And you can move on. You'll see what I mean soon enough. However, you do get these very, very nice heart pans right here. Now, these, these, these are very useful. Uh, I need some water. There you go. There's the water. Grab the water. Let's get fat. All right. I am bloated with water. I, you know, if I drink water and I like, blew up like that, that, that seems pretty unhealthy. But you hit into this little thing and somehow it'll cause the water to drip down and it'll put out the fire because apparently fires are just that easy to put out. You spit a little water on it. You just, you know, if you just spit on a fire, it'll, it'll go out. Yeah, no problem. Anyway, I'm going to equip these heart pants though on, uh, these are what? Well, yeah, these are baby Luigi. This will increase his health by 10 and give him even more defense. Now look at his stat. Look, at he has the highest HP out of anyone in my party right now. Baby Luigi has more HP than Luigi, and his defense is actually pretty good too. So right now, Baby Luigi is just a ridiculous tank, and I like that. I'm really liking how Baby Luigi is turning out this one. He's like MVP right now. No, okay, but unfortunately, all those stats going to the babies are probably not going to be useful because usually you're fighting the big bros and not the little bros. Which is kind of odd, I guess, but whatever. As you can see, these blocks are faded out, and the one I just hit, though, is actually uh, perfectly good to go here. So we're going to go up on that, and we'll head to the left to continue onward. Uh, now, over here is, yeah, is there more beans? There's more beans. Beans are always good. Even though, uh, the, you, the, yeah, um, actually, we'll be able to use them soon enough. Not too long now, but then again, I didn't really, I don't really care. For, this is probably the one game where the beans are probably the least useful, in my opinion, but, you know, why, why not collect them anyway? I like to be perfectionist, or at least close to it. Uh, so yeah, more beans. God, they take so long to just go around digging up beans, though. Uh, so we're in the jump train ground, yeah, blah blah blah. As, as expected, we're going to be making good use of the spin jump here. Spin attack to the face. Except there's no face to spin attack quite yet, but that's okay. I just want to say my phrase. I haven't said it in so long. I will use uh, I will use my opportunity to say my phrase if I want to. Anyway, so we're gonna have to take the little kids under here. Uh, once again, separating the two in order to solve puzzles. Good times. Uh, as you can see, these um, there's always like an enemy that are like just for the babies only. Those garantulas you pretty much almost always fight only using the babies. I can't actually think of an, of a time when you actually can fight them as the big bros off the top of my head. Uh, and they tend to do that with the with the spiked enemies like that, uh, that you have to use the hammer for. They usually do not give you any opportunity to fight the spiked enemies when you do not have the babies. I mean, it's in general, probably, you know, it makes sense, because you can't actually fight spiked enemies with the big bros, unless you use bro items, and, you know, bros items are limited, so you might not have them, I don't know. I guess that's their logic. Anyway, you spit the water in tree stumps, and somehow the water reflects along all these pipes, and somehow it gets expelled at such a velocity that it puts out the fire. I don't know. I think these Nintendo people might not know how water works, but mm, what can you do? Did I miss? Really? Come on. That's bullcrap. Anyway, you put up both the fires. Stupid Kamek trying to burn down the forest. Smokey, once again, you would be disappointed. But that's okay. Uh, I guess the, the best way to go is from over here. Uh, a nice little spin jump practice here. You know, you gotta make use of your new mechanic. You, can't, you always have to do that. Uh, so you just spin over here, and spin over here, and spin over here. How exciting! You get the green block, and uh, once again, this will make all the green blocks appear on the map, and now we can use those to move on. Uh, but first, we have to get the... No, I don't want to spit the water out. Jeez. Alright. That was, that was a waste of time. That was a waste of time! These enemies are really not that hard to dodge, though. Uh, the pigeons rarely come to attack you, and the grantulas, I don't know, I've never seemed to have a problem with them. There is one other enemy, though, in this area that is a really big pain in the butt to dodge, as we'll be seeing soon enough. Hate those enemies so much. Uh, so we got two out of three blocks. There's one more block to take care of before we can go continue our chase on Kamek. Because we need those damn cookies. They're so delicious. Uh, over here? Yeah, over here. Alright, now what do we have to deal with here? Oh, how about just a completely useless screen that has nothing on it except ten coins? Yeah, that that that's just perfectly fine. Waste of screen, please. 
Uh, so in this one you have to basically move the uh, these little block things to make a path from uh, this to the fire. And no, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Go with that. That that works well. All right. So you head up here, and yeah, all there is is just some water. You spit into the little block. I mean, <laughs> pretty simple puzzles here. Just take a rocket scientist to figure this out. Or maybe it does. Gee, lucky, you forgot something. Of course I hit this one too. I am struggling with this really easy puzzle, what the heck? Lucky, what are you doing? This is an easy puzzle involving strange water mechanics because apparently water just goes horizontally. I don't know. Baby spit travels horizontally, guys. Baby spit is not affected by gravity. It's like the Toadsworths. It's like the spin jump. Just everything in this game breaks the laws of physics. Toadsworth, baby spit... You know, just, just, that's how the game works. Whatever. Uh, so anyway, that's the blue block, so now we can go ahead and continue onward in Yoshi's Island. I do love the music of Yoshi's Island, it's nice and cheerful and happy. You're, see, you're sitting here saving the forest, you're putting out, well, this not really forest here, but putting out fires, chasing Kamek, rescuing cookies. I love how, like, there's just no, like, Yub doesn't even have a presence, it's a giant freaking... Psycho Yoshi out there, and I get the shell and get a jump, a uh, first attack at the same time, but there's a giant Yo Yoshi out there, and it doesn't even matter. Anyway, there is one other item we haven't tried yet, and these are these ice flowers, and we're gonna use these on these new enemies called the Coconutters, because Coconutters sounds funny. Reminds me of those spear guys from uh, Superstar Saga, though. They're very similar. Anyway, ice flowers have the same mechanics as uh, the fire flower, th uh, yeah, the fire flowers. Basically, you know, you use A and B to you know, shoot them, or X and Y for aerial enemies. However, instead of giving burn stats, the ice flowers will, uh, they'll, they'll give stats a lot more often, they'll actually give a random down, uh, status, which will lower either their power, defense, or speed, sometimes all at once. That guy in the bottom actually has all three of them lowered, as you can tell by the icons. So, you can do a lot more damage, they'll do a lot less damage, and you'll even go faster than them, as you can see. Now, the coconutters, these enemies are annoying, uh, they use a little blowpipe move, as, you, as you've seen before, and they also have a move like that, where, uh, they take one turn to charge it, and then they can heal all the enemies on screen, yes, that's right, all of them. For a, a very good chunk of HP, I think it's about 30, so you want to use Rotex and finish them off quickly. Uh, another thing though, you sh uh, I should mention is you should not use jump attacks when they have their spear in the air charging the healing rain. Because when they have their spear in the air, they are immune to jump attacks, they're like a spiked enemy then. So be careful about that. But those coconuts are so annoying because their spear is so freaking hard to dodge. Like, their spear is just, they just chuck the spear, the freaking chucksters, they are just, yeah, they, they go really fast, and they tend to just hit you, and they have really good accuracy at that, so... Very annoying enemy, but, you know, they're not that hard to fight, they're kind of fun, actually, so... Whatever, Coconutter, I respect you. Why not? Anyway, the tornado returns from Superstar Saga, uh, if you spin jump into a tornado, it will send you flying very far, you can really defy the laws of physics then, why not? Uh, get out of here, no, don't throw your spear at me, no one likes a spear up the butt, nobody likes a spear up the butt. Uh, this is not freaking Mario Party 8, where you get candy for getting a spear at the butt in that one map. This is freaking partisan time, and no one wants to get hit by spears. But yeah, those, those spears are exactly why they remind me of the spear guys from Superstar Saga, because those things are also deadly accurate with spears. What is it this game and annoying spear-throwing enemies? Seriously. Anyway, yeah, that's not gonna work. You're, not, you're too big. Yeah, see, right there. Example right there of freaking spear-throwing craziness. But anyway, at least when we're using this guy, we get a 1-up mushroom from a smash egg. He's freaking doing that weird motion of his spear. That's such a weird motion, actually, if you think about it. Uh, we, do, we do get a green shell from him, though, at least. I do like the fact that the enemies drop bro items. In fact, uh, the pigeons will drop smash eggs, so once again, you never have to worry about buying those. You get so many of them here. And we'll continue to get more of them throughout the game. As you've noticed, we still get more green shells and bro flowers here and there. Uh, we'll get more cannonballs eventually, too, so you don't tend to run out of... Uh, bro items that easily. You really rarely have to buy them. Uh, anyway, Kamek's here doing some weird motion to the Yoshi statue. I don't know if he's just, like, insulting you, because Yoshi is his nemesis! But, you know, that's all we're there we have for today. So this is uh, Lucky7DX signing out. In the next episode, we're going to chase down Kamek and recover cookies again. Goodbye.